Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to another video. Um, I'm just looking around at my sort of three and three quarter inch collection I've got here. And uh, I've actually started to space it out a little bit more. Um, just trying to get a little bit more room and just to organize it a little bit more. All these shelves are quite, you know, they're, they're very full. Um, so everything's sort of really condensed in there like Return of the Jedi stuff. It's all pretty pretty well crammed in there. Um, recently did make a little bit of space here when I got the, the Rogue One tank and was sort of able to dedicate a full full shelf to Rogue One down here. So my purpose today is to um, clear this shelf of Solo and Revenge of the Sith, move them elsewhere, I haven't decided exactly where, but I've got my Mos Eisley Cantina and my New Hope. And you can sort of see most of them are barely, barely visible on the shelf. Um, so I do kind of want to open it up a little bit. And because I've given Return of the Jedi sort of a full shelf here with Jabba's Palace, I thought it was only fair that the uh, Mos Eisley Cantina gets a little bit more room to breathe, so to speak. Um, and then hopefully, you know, show it off a little bit more. Um, so I'm just, I'm going to muck around today a little bit with these, with these shelves. Um, and I do have some spare spots down the bottom there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to get it in order, um, like in film order. Uh, only one Kenobi, he's done a fantastic job of his and getting his all in um, movie order and stuff like that. Um, but you know, things with like the Slave One, the Geonosis Arena, things like that, can't just fit them in any shelf. And of course, you put one like that and you've got to find something else that has something big next to it. Otherwise, you're going to have all this sort of wasted space up around here. So, um, I'm going to take a little bit of planning, a little bit of messing around. Um, but yeah, we'll certainly come back and have a look when it's done. Um, so I've sort of got my Clone Wars in the middle. I sort of started going like episode one to two, two, three, Clone Wars, uh, Rogue One, Solo were in there. And then it's all sort of just gone all over the place as I've been able to fit things in. So we're going we're gonna to work through this. We're going to get through it together. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll see what I can come up with for my displays. Stay tuned. So while I've got it out, um, here is my little Moss Eisley Cantina display. This is the old Power of the Force 2 um, cardboard cutout that was available back in the 90s. Um, buddy hooked me up with this one and I used foam core to sort of stabilize it um, just because the cardboard you know being boxed away and folded up for so long it's been warped and and all that stuff so I've used foam core and I've basically just made up a simple frame for it um, just to hold it a little bit more sturdy um, taped it all together using magic tape which is sort of you know semi invisible but um yeah this is my sort of setup I know, um, Wellesley here, he isn't really in the cantina, but I've got him just sort of outside. But yeah, just wanted to just wanted to share this. I've got the cantina in the back there. Pretty sure I have all the patrons that are available. And sort of just around the corner here, I've got sand troopers and Gorindon the spy. So I do need to update him. But yeah, just while I had it out, I just wanted to share what I've done here. And I do have this Han Solo. It looks pretty good. I can't remember what line that was from. 1999, so Power of the Jedi. It's a good looking Han. Then he gets that pose right. Oh, it's not the it's not the best articulated hand but it's a pretty good likeness and uh, fits well in the booth there um, 
This Greedo is the sort of Saga Legends, the VOTC one I think, and I'll put the Power of the Force um, vest on him because he did have a soft goods vest and it just didn't look as good as the plastic one, so there's a, uh, another member here. <laughs> That man's just a crazy old wizard. Alright, let's get back into it. Alright, so what turned into quite a few hours <laughs> of rearranging. I've sort of come up with this. Um, still got a couple of shelves that just need like leveling out. And, um, you know, I've got some figures down here that need to be, you know, picked up and cleaned up. They're sort of... Um, you know, just collapsed and stuff during the during the move. Um, yeah, just some reorganising down the bottom here. Um, sort of got my expanded universe shelves down the bottom. Uh, it'd be nice to give them a little bit more height and room. Um, sequels. Till Hasbro pulls their finger out and starts giving us some more sequel trilogy figures. I'm probably just going to leave that as is. Um, that's fine. It's okay. There's this giant space there waiting for more figures. Um, <laughs> did have to move some stuff around over here, so I've got my sort of hot toys. Vader, big Vader, I think he's going to go into storage. Um, my SH figure arts collection's sadly been relegated down to the bottom corner, but, um, I know they're safe there. Um, that's not a big deal. I don't tend to get to them too often, so it's nice to know they're in a nice safe place down the bottom there. Um, and hopefully, maybe I can get a glass shelf to replace, uh, for my Boba Fett shrine. Um, so I can get a little bit more light in there. Um, so I've got Power of the Force, two shelves here. Um, I did sort of got my Clone Wars shelves in here as well. There, it's a quite a crammed collection, but again, once I get some glass shelves for this unit, um, you know, it'll look a lot better. They'll get a little, lot more light in. And, uh, yeah, you will be able to see all these characters in the back a lot better. And, uh, Mando's got its own shelf now. ATST. The slave one did get relegated to this shelf, but it is super nice. So, I, uh, you know, wanted to have a bit of a center stage thing. Uh, the Death Star, that's going to stay there for the minute. Um, I'd like to find a different spot for it, um... And one of the little lasers has, has popped off, so it's probably on the floor somewhere. That's okay. Um, so yeah, coming up the top here, got my Geonosis Arena. So it's sort of, yeah, really pushed this up a little bit higher. Um, I know it is quite high and I can't see it super well, but <laughs> it's alright, I know it's there. Um, Django flaming it, clone pilot. That worked out quite well. Um, and yeah, I've been able to sort of expand my Attack of the Clones collection and give it all a little bit more breathing room on the same shelf, which is nice. I'm still hoping to get a hold this year of Elan Sleaze Bagano to, with the other bar piece to go with Obi-Wan. And then there's a couple more um, bar patrons from the, under, from the nightclub. Um, Senator the table. Uh, Empire Strikes Back has got a little bit more light and room to breathe now. I just get the snow speeder in the back there. That's the vintage collection one. Still a bit tight. Um, I'm going to have to expand again if I decide to go ahead one day and get those, get the carbon freezing chamber playset. Um, and I will get two if I decide to do that. Um, so yeah, I'll we'll have to make some more room for that. Jabba's Palace is here. Pretty much the same setup as before. I've uh, got the Rancor underneath now. As well as just like the Boma Monk and the Torture Chamber droids. Um, be nice to get like a little bit of a backdrop for this, like a cave backdrop or something. But yeah, I do, do love this Rancor a lot. Uh, Return of the Jedi sort of expands again. It's definitely one with the most figures, I think. Um, but yeah, A New Hope, this was this was ultimately the plan, was to get A New Hope a little bit more space on one shelf. The cantina. 
sort of blends the film sort of goes a little bit backwards in terms of chronological order here for the film but that's okay it's a bit all like a bit all over the place but phantom menace revenge of the sith that's one collection i'd love to work more on that's probably the most lackluster sort of part of my three and three quarter inch collection some great figures but uh yeah certainly lacking in uh, some some areas there rogue one and solo and yeah, some animated animated stuff so I can push that up. Um, get the expanded universe in there as well. Um, that'll give that a little bit more room. And uh, yeah, then I have the oh, joyous pleasure of finding out where I'm gonna put a razor crest come sort of October, November. <laughs> it's gonna be it's going to be chaos. Um, yeah, there may be some stuff going into storage for that. Um, sadly, but uh, it's okay. But yeah, that's basically what I worked on today. Um, yeah, just just doing some re reorganizing and uh, managed to get one one actual full shelf out of that sort of lineup. So it gives them a little bit more space in between, a little bit more height. Um, and I feel like the Rancor and the ATST to sort of fit in there nicely. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed a bit of a look around. Um, actually do want to do some spotlights on some of these parts of my collection at some point as well so stay tuned for that thanks for tuning in until the next video may the force be with you always we're a little rushed so if you'll just get on board we'll get out of here